Hi, I'm Dr. Richard Luceri. The following informational video provided by St. Jude Medical will offer you more information on sick sinus syndrome. It will lead you through a description of the disorder, symptoms, risk factors, and treatment. Sick sinus syndrome, or SSS, is the name for several heart rhythm disorders in which the sinoatrial or sinus node does not work the right way. According to the American Academy of Family Physicians, this progressive disorder affects one in 600 people known to have heart problems. Sick sinus syndrome is a type of bradycardia or slow heartbeat in which the sinoatrial node, the heart's natural pacemaker, is not functioning properly. This means that the electrical signal that prompts the heart to beat either moves too slowly through the SA node called sinoatrial block or that there are pauses in delivery of the electrical signal to the heart, called sinus arrest. SSS can also cause tachycardia, heart rates that are too fast, or bradycardia tachycardia syndrome, heart rates that fluctuate between being too slow and too fast. Sick sinus syndrome is not always accompanied by symptoms. However, many patients experience fatigue, weakness, dizziness, lightheadedness, fainting, and shortness of breath. While SSS can occur without apparent cause, there are some risk factors that prompt its onset. Controllable factors include high cholesterol, high blood pressure, diabetes, smoking, alcohol abuse, stress, and certain medications. Non-controllable risk factors include family history of heart disease, congenital heart disorders, advancing age, and gender. Because sick sinus syndrome can cause either slow heart rate, bradycardia, or fast heart rate, tachycardia, there are multiple treatment options depending on the arrhythmia. Bradycardia is usually treated with a permanent pacemaker. A pacemaker is a small artificial device that is designed to regulate the beating of the heart. Inside the pacemaker are a battery, which acts as a power source for the device, and a microscopic computer that listens to the heart's native electrical rhythm. If the device doesn't sense any electrical activity within a certain time, it stimulates the heart to beat. Bradycardia tachycardia syndrome is treated using a combination of methods, a pacemaker to control the bradycardia and medication to manage the tachycardia. This video was created by St. Jude Medical to provide information about heart failure and cardiac resynchronization therapy. This is not a substitute for medical advice. If you have any questions about a heart condition, please talk to your physician. Thank you.